So this question has shows a parabola. And I have to do a couple things. The y-intercept occurs when y has some value, and it's negative 4. So why is that? Well, what you have to do is mark up dots first. So you put here a dot, right here. This is the y-intercept, because that's where the graph crosses the vertical axis, which is the y-axis. So here, this is the y-axis, recall. And this is the x-axis over here. Okay, right here. So x-axis, and again, up here is the y-axis. Remember, it says place the dots on the graph to mark the y-intercept and x-intercepts of the parabola. All right, so that's the y-intercept. Next, you place a dot right here. Why do you place a dot there? Because here is where graph crosses the x-axis. That's why. Okay. So you put a, you put a dot right here, like that. Let me move the red x a little bit up. Okay. Another place that you can put a dot is right here. So let me do that right here. Because that's, again, where the graph crosses the x-axis. So if you're in my class, what you have to do is basically, the, I believe the picture is given to you, just mark the dots, and then you, in the boxes below you summarize. So it says the y-intercept occurs when y has what value? You put negative 4. The x-intercepts are at x equals some value and some value. There are two of them. So one of them, for example, as you can see, is negative 3. So negative 3, comma, positive 1. It says use a comma to separate the answers. So you put numbers separated by a comma. And that's pretty much the whole question.